<laughs> Over the next two days, I'll be living right here with the family that lives at this sheep station here in the mountains of Romania and of course their canine entourage. <laughs> Ow, stop biting me. Ow! Hey! Stop! Oh my god, these dogs are dangerous! The next three days turned out to be full of new experiences. Ah, a lot of sheep milking. See, when, when I do it, it's just like a tiny little stream. Traditional cheese making and, of course, partying. I'm in Romania, one of the wildest countries in Europe. I'll be spending the next three days living right here at a remote sheep station, experiencing the traditional shepherding lifestyle of my hosts, the Petru family. It's just before 6 a.m. and this is how a typical day in their lives begins. There we go. Anna. So this is proper Italian coffee made on the fire, mixed with super fresh goat's milk from last night's milking. Oh, coffee like this every morning, please. Yeah. <laughs> After our first cup of coffee and before <laughs> breakfast, we head out to milk the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> this goat has not been taught any tricks. Literally, he's just trying to fight me. <laughs> I'm about to see how Yonutz, the eldest son in the family, milks the sheep first thing in the morning. And I might try it for myself too. Yeah. <laughs> Nu poți să faci un lucru care nu îți place și nu îți convine. Da. <laughs> Zice că să fii cioban ești normal de mult. Ciobanii au fost considerat cei mai proști oameni, asta nu e adevărat. Pentru că un prost nu poate să stea la ele, că degeaba stă. Yeah. Nu știi ce să facă cu ele. Pe toți 150 de mii cât am avut și în primăvară, am știut că fiecare de la ce o Crezi că oricine ar putea să facă asta? Nu. Păi unul care nu a stat niciodată la oi, dacă l-a aici a doua zi sau hai să zic cel puțin a treia zi pleacă. Ce și în jură că l-ai adus aici? E cea mai, cum s-ar zice, cea mai grea meserie. E ușor dacă ai dragoste, dacă îți place de el. This process takes place every single morning and every single evening without fail. 300 sheep that need to be milked twice a day. And look, I mean, the guys are milking and milking over there in that part of the shed, but there's still so many sheep left. It's like a sea of sheep. It's a never ending job, day in, day out. But some of us are still very much learning the ropes, <laughs> myself included. <laughs> this is my real test. I'm gonna try and milk the sheep right now. Next to me is Jonas, who's my teacher. All right, let's see how this goes. I have a feeling I'm gonna make an idiot of myself, but. All right, okay. So, cool. All right, there we go. Yeah, I did it. That's your note, that's me. <laughs> Just for comparison. <laughs> What's your note's professional opinion of my milking skills? But the inceput is bien. It's good. Alright. Data Vitor is to be my my bien. Next time. 
The reward comes only after the work has been done. First, the frontline workers get their feet. And then, it's our turn. This food is as local as it gets. The milk is literally brought from 20 meters away. The cheese is made right here on the spot. Like the definition of farm to table. Incredible. I can't wait to taste this amazing cheese. It looks so good. This breakfast is looking incredible, but before I dig in, there is one more thing I need to try. Ask for local custom. Ah! <laughs> uh, no, 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 But it's definitely got some buzz to it. I think I'll stick to the cheese for breakfast. And here we have our breakfast Mamaliga Kubrint, which is polenta with cheese. Oh, this looks like breakfast of the champions. Mmm. 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 The men get busy moving the sheep enclosure to a new spot. Anna mows the grass with a scythe, the traditional way. While I follow the eldest son, Yonutz, to the pasture with the flock. This place is just beautiful. No fences, no limits, just nature. These dogs are trained to place themselves strategically around the herd so that they're evenly spaced out, so that they're herding the sheep as well as protecting them from wild animals like wolves. This is what it feels like to be in a river of sheep. <laughs> but we have an exciting day ahead of us back at the sheep station. First, I want to speak to the family's youngest son, Mihai. Do you like to live here? Yes. I was curious who Mihai wanted to become when he grows up. I did, I should. For now though, we just filled our day with crushing hazelnuts and collecting berries and, my favorite part, making local artisan cheese. So, what's the verdict? Is it ready? First process is ready. I asked Anna how she feels about Mihai not wanting to continue the shepherd way of life. Yes. How does she get the like the strength or the motivation to do it? I get to try the first taste of this new batch of cheese, Brinza. Here it is, freshly made here in the Stuna by Anna. Mmm, <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is the freshest cheese you'll ever try in your life. <sighs> right, the Petri family, they don't have it easy up here. 
it's a beautiful place but it's hard work but you know what every single person I spoke to today said to me over and over again if you love what you do it's easy to do it every single day day in day out that's a beautiful thought to remember them by Tonight, they've invited a bunch of people from the local village to come over and have a little party right here up on the hillside. So I'm really excited to see what that will look like. We've got the sheep coming into the station. And this is where the hard day's work for the shepherds finally ends. This is the time that they actually get to eat and rest once the sheep are safe and back at the station. And you know what? No weekends here. Seven days a week. Back in the kitchen, Anna and Andra were busy preparing dinner for our upcoming party. Mm, very good. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> the magic salt. Tortu mirev. Here is the goulash. <laughs> this is traditional mountain goulash straight from the sheep station, served in these beautiful little bowls. Perfect for cold mountain nights. The sheep are nearby. Oh, yeah? All right, let's try this. Mmm. Wow. Oh, delicious. This is exactly the kind of meal that you would imagine a shepherd eating at the end of a long day of work, and that's exactly what we're having right now. Mmm. Ah, oh, delicious. So this is an amazing miracle donut. It's made here uh, uh, at the sheep station. We call it gogosh, gogosha. And it's filled with something magical and creamy and amazing inside. You want to see? Check it out. It's not just the steam, it's the cheese inside it that's melted. Not real. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Wow. Come on, have some. All right. Why are you hogging the donut? <laughs> Not you. Are we going? Wow, absolutely delicious. Super cheesy, <laughs> warm, melty. Oh, well, you want some too? But I totally get this place. And I've lived in a lot of places in the world, I tell you. I totally get it. Okay. It's a good place with good people and a good energy. This is existing. But it's real. It's fucking raw and it's really real. As night began to fall, I started to wonder about the wild animals here. What about the wolves? The wolves are coming. Really? But the dogs will protect us. <laughs> no, that's not true. The wolves are not coming. <laughs> the, the, the army. This is the army. The army of dogs. Well, the army looks a little bit sleepy to me, but I wasn't going to question their trusted methods. While our foot soldiers rested before taking the night shift, it seemed like the evening was far from over. <laughs> Got YouTube up here on the hill.
îmi place numai la deal, munte, pădure, apă rea ce izvoră, cântatul păsărilor, ascultatul ierbii cum crește, înfloritul pomilor, mirosul, mirosul florilor de pe dealuri, de pe munți, care e o terapie, un medicament. Deci asta ne ține aici, sănătoși și mândri de viața pe care o ducem. O să, să trăiască toată lumea, numai noi să nu murim și de o fi să moară lumea, noi tot ultimii să fim. Ai reținut? Eva la mulți ani. was with me <laughs> at the sheep station. <laughs> We're back here in the village hotel in Breb. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing experience living with the Petri family, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. It really it was. I feel like we learned so much from it. it yeah. I feel charged in the soul. Yes, yeah. yes, we're charged. Our hearts and souls are charged. That's it. I spoke to all the members of the Petri family independently, but they all told me the same thing. If you love what you do, it's easy to do it. Here's the thing, people often say that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I think that's completely not true. Yes, it will be hard work. Yes, you will work probably harder than anybody else, but every single day you'll be getting closer to your goals and every day will bring you joy. And that's a really beautiful way to live, but it's a very brave way to live. You know what? As I like to say, the world belongs to the brave. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more adventures from around the world. And if you really, really love what I do, make sure that you check out my Patreon page where I publish extra exclusive content only for the mega fans. <laughs> Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Mwah!